Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Spoilers for The Young and the Restless indicate that Cameron Grimes just shared the news of her first child's birth on Instagram. The YNR actress posted a heartfelt statement about her new family member along with a cute photo of her newborn boy. On December 13, Grimes welcomed Bridger Elias Foster into the world, and it's obvious that they are overjoyed with the news. The same is true for Brock Foster Powell, the fiancé of Grimes, who also made Bridger's Instagram debut. These happy parents appear eager to begin this new chapter in their relationship with their child. Bridger arrived earlier than expected, which may can seem like a Christmas present, when Grimes released her birth announcement post, she made a joke about that notion. Grimes remarked, My dad and I also never enjoyed waiting for Christmas. Grimes said that their little family's future is merry and bright after disclosing the baby's full name and birth date. Soon after Cameron Grimes welcomed her new child, fans began wishing her well. Grimes has expressed her wish to become a mother in the open, therefore we are really happy for her. Regarding Grimes' potential maternity leave from Y and R, she spoke about it in October on X, the platform that was formerly known as Twitter. This is not maternity leave, Grimes replied to an inquisitive admirer. In response to a question about details, Grimes said that she just decided against it because she isn't working very much. Thus, it is likely that viewers won't really notice a difference in Grimes' airing of Maria Copeland. It's no secret that Maria doesn't appear frequently, but this has less to do with her maternity leave and more to do with the show's lack of content. In any case, it's good to see that Cameron Grimes' infant son is content and well. We all send our warmest wishes to the Grimes family so they can enjoy their newest member. Keep checking back for more on all the startling moments in store since the young and the restless spoilers indicate that more surprises are in store in Gino City. Tuesday, December 19, spoilers for The Young and the Restless indicate that Nikki Newman will likely become agitated upon seeing Jordan at the ranch, which means she won't be long before she cries out for Victor Newman's assistance. Victor is going to save Nikki, but will Jordan be alive by then? Jordan might be visible to Victor because YNR spoilers indicate that he will be joined by an unexpected guest in addition to Nikki. If Jordan is actually present at all, it's also feasible that she will run away. Nikki might be hallucinating, especially given how much alcohol she's been consuming lately. Victor will make every effort to provide Nikki with the assistance she requires, though. If the spoiler does not mention Jordan, then another person could be the surprise guest at the ranch. We're aware that Nate Hastings will soon accuse Nikki of drinking, so he might drop over and pick up some leads. According to additional Y&R spoilers, Tucker McCall will make an offer that Phyllis Summers is blind to. Since it looks like this will be an invitation rather than a demand, Tucker might try a less intimidating tactic and encourage Phyllis to work with him. Tucker might want Phyllis' assistance as a hacker once more, but dealing with Tucker is never without his difficulties. If Phyllis accepts this offer, there will be significant benefits, but is it really worth taking the chance of upsetting Daniel Romolotti Jr. and Summer Newman? Jack Abbott will then apply the brakes, allowing Kyle Abbott to retake his place as co-CEO. Diane Jenkins Abbott will undoubtedly contend that Kyle merits it, particularly in light of Billy Abbott's resignation. Diane will probably think that putting Kyle back in that position makes sense, but Jack might argue that he doesn't want to exacerbate their father-son rivalry. Furthermore, Jack may believe that Kyle should remain in the COO position for long because he was serious when he said that Kyle needed to make amends. What will Kyle do now that he's lost the opportunity to give Jack important information and regain his position as co-CEO? Will Kyle keep what he's heard from Tucker a secret or attempt to persuade Jack to reconsider? In any case, Spoilers for the young and the restless indicate that Kyle will get awful news. Follow along for more details on where this plot is headed next. Kyle Abbott rejects Tucker's plan, 
In the Friday, December 15, 2023, Young and the rest us recap, Tucker makes a significant admission regarding his future intentions for Jabot and the Abbots. Highlights of the Young and the rest us recap. In this episode as well, Ashley accepted Tucker's terms for selling her share of the business. Diane attempted to persuade Jack to remove Billy, but he declined. Kyle tried to persuade Audra that they needed to turn on Tucker. Billy presented Chelsea with a gift before making a significant choice. Daniel encouraged Summer to accept Chance's offer of a concert ticket. Let's examine the events in more detail now. When Tucker showed up at the Abbott Mansion to meet Ashley, Jack wasn't overjoyed. Tucker tried to reassure them that he was no longer a threat to Jerboat, but Jack wasn't buying it and remained doubtful. Tucker was taken aback by Diane and Ashley's sudden agreement and questioned the whereabouts of Kyle and Billy. Tucker conveyed his wish for tranquility, stressing that he wished to let go of negativity and concentrate on his new venture. Jack, however, said that they would not accept Tucker's peace offer, and he and Ashley rejected the notion. Jack demanded that Tucker put down his hand, despite Tucker making a symbolic gesture of his own, expressing his dissatisfaction with the war still going on and his curiosity about Tucker's next move. Tucker declared he was exhausted and made an offer to purchase Ashley's share of the business, promising never to pursue Jabot once more. Following a quick exchange of words, Ashley accepted the arrangement and shook hands with Tucker as he left. Jack was still nervous, thinking Tucker was taking advantage of them. Jack and Diane talked about Billy's part in their scheme while Ashley walked out to phone her lawyer. Diane had her doubts about her brother-in-law, but Jack insisted that Billy and their son belonged where they were and he wouldn't argue otherwise. In the meantime, Tucker texted Audra to meet him at the GCAC bar. Following their sexual encounter in Audra's suite upstairs, Kyle voiced his concerns about Tucker's ignorance of the strategy against Jebot. Audra pushed him to demonstrate his allegiance, stressing that he had to establish his credibility by providing Tucker with insider knowledge on Jebot. Kyle wondered if Tucker was playing everyone for a joke and what his real motivations were. Uncertain but holding out hope for the moment, Audra proposed that Kyle supply important details to better comprehend Tucker's strategy. Concerned about the consequences for Audra, Kyle was soothed by her contingency plan at Newman Media. Tucker appeared out of the blue after their talk, asking why Kyle was there rather than at work. Disappointed with his lack of knowledge, Kyle threatened to leave unless he had the game plan. As Audra entered the discussion, she pressed Tucker for further information. Tucker yelled, outlining his entire scheme. All he needed from Kyle was information regarding a new product. Tucker's business would manufacture and market it first. Jack was going to find out that he had a mole at Jebot, and Tucker was going to ruin the business by painting Diane or Billy in that role. Following his departure, Kyle and Audra began to doubt the veracity of Tucker's scheme. Kyle cautioned her that Tucker might also turn on her. Tucker later agreed to Ashley's requirements for selling her a share of their business in the dining room. Ashley declared that the arrangement was finalized, and Jack gave his assurance that he would soon defeat Tucker. Billy showed up at society bearing gifts for Chelsea as a token of appreciation for her leadership in resolving the Tucker situation. In order to avoid the continuous confrontation at Jabot, he realized the necessity to resist the need to intervene and made a suggestion that he would take his mother's offer into consideration. Ultimately, Chelsea came to the realization that despite his suggestion of traveling overseas for the new year, he would probably remain in Gino City to assist his mother. Summer ran into chance at Crimson Lights, and he told her he was taking Sharon to a performance. Chance, however, gave Summer an extra VIP ticket after Sharon called to cancel. Summer was unsure whether or not to go to the concert since she was worried about making a mess. When Daniel arrived, he urged her to confront her feelings for Chance and warned her against allowing unfulfilled desire to create a vicious cycle of hopelessness and despair. In the end, Summer called Chance to accept the ticket, deciding to take advantage of the situation. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, 
please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.